Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Matt M. And before we start this video, I would like to give a special shout out to my mom. Insert picture right here. I love you very much. And I would like to greet you a happy Mother's Day. You are the best. Virtual hugs. So I would like to greet every mother watching this video. Happy Mother's Day. Give them some love, give them some flowers. Despite the social distancing, you can still give some love even though you're six feet away. Okay, so let's get right to it. Today will just be a very chill video, light-hearted Q&A type of video. Frequently asked questions that you have given on the comment section of the ASCPI how to apply process. I will add a card up above and you have given me a lot of positive responses and a lot of questions that I think I did not tackle on that video. If your questions are not added on this video, I can make a part two of this. Okay, question number one. For the ASCPA exam, there are five types of people who can take the exam. So there are five routes on how you can take the exam and the five routes are the first one is that you should be an MLS graduate or a BSMT graduate or a BSMLS graduate with at least six months training. For the ASCPI, they don't actually count the number of hours you did but all they want is that you have a completed set of training. So that's route one. That's also my route. For route two, they should be an MLS graduate with three years of clinical experience experience may it be local or may it be abroad anywhere as long as you have three years of clinical experience you can apply for route two route three is for anyone with a bachelor's in science degree approved by ASCP you should also have that two years of MLS internship route four is for bachelor's degree holder in biology or chemistry with at least five years of work experience in the laboratory okay not just any <laughs> any work experience because in certain countries they give you limited license as a chemist if you graduated with a chemistry degree and usually for bachelors of science in biology they usually apply for the microbiology position and if they want to apply for ASCP they should have five years of working experience for out five it's for bachelors degree holder in any approved institution by ASCP with five years of work experience. I will also add a recap of everything I said. I will make it into a table. The rule of thumb of everything is that routes one and three requires internship and then routes two, four, and five, they require work experience local or abroad. What else can I say? Next question. The exam typically costs $200 for you to take the ASCPI certification. You can pay through credit or debit and can also pay through check. That's it. <laughs> That's pretty much how to answer how much is the exam. You should expect a multiple choice exam with 100 items and you should take the exam within 150 minutes so that's basically two hours and 30 minutes you will take the exam through a computer and it has the computer adaptive technology which means that if the first question is easy based on the computer then the next question should be a harder type of question than the first so it gets harder and harder until you hit that spot where you got a mistake and then when you get that mistake then you will get into those easy questions until you gain your momentum again and then it will get difficult so that's the type of exam you should expect within the ASCP certification so the coverage of the exam is pretty much like the Philippine board with the exception of histopathologic techniques and medtech loss and bioethics but we'll also cover the laboratory management part you should still study that part you should study your basis cover your foundation so you should have an understanding of your analysis clinical chemistry microbiology hematology blood banking immunology and serology and that's it there are five coverages within the exam lab management you should not forget also about that so six so <laughs> within those six categories that's the type of question you will get within the ASCP certification so next question 
for people still asking me on how to apply for the ASCP exam, I will not cover that within this video. If you don't know, then I am telling you that I already did a separate video on how to apply for ASCP and you should go check that out. I will link it up above because if I did add that within this video, I don't think I can cram that within this video. That would take another 15 minutes, so no thank you. <laughs> Actually, you can see your results right away after taking the test. You should see a pass or fail right away. This is something you should look out for because I know people who miss this part. Then you have to wait an agonizing, let's say, seven-ish days before they email you on your actual results. Next question. The passing score for the exam is 400 out of 1,000. I actually don't know how they compute for this. I'm pretty sure you, who's watching this video, is pretty good at math. You'll figure that out. 400 out of 1,000 in a 100 item test. So for the requirements of this exam, if you do have your PRC license, then you don't have to pass your transcript of records because I think it automatically sends it to them without you actually having to send it to them via email, which I did because uh, if you don't know, when I did take the ASCP exam, I was not 21 yet, so my PRC license is not uh, released yet. If you don't have your PRC number, don't be frightened, don't be scared. It's not a bad thing. All you have to do is just send them a copy of your transcript via email, which is better, I think, in my opinion, because it's paperless. So we're on to our last question. Actually, there are three testing sites. The first testing site is in Trident Towers. The second testing site is with MissNet Education. The third testing site is also in MissNet Education, but in Cebu. And this is my correction on my second video. So I am really sorry if you got confused, but in my defense, I did put a comment. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm only human, I make mistakes. So this is an apology video and also a video that corrects my mistake on the second video. <laughs> We've reached the conclusion of this video. At this point, I would like to thank everyone who watched this video. Happy Mother's Day and don't forget to wash your hands and I will see you next week. Bye!